Hello everyone, this is the Tales of Polish Royalty. Thank you for tuning in the whole week of last. So, this is Sunday after we got back. <laughs> the whole week of last, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> it is the Polish Royalty. But yeah, so we just wanted to show a little bit of stuff that we got. It just, here and there, bits and pieces of stuff. So I don't know where you want to start, Jen. Ah, uh, you can start from the back to the front, that's fine. We'll go with Jen's Pride and Joy first. It is the Winter Spirit Jersey. I like it because it has snowflakes and the castle on it and the gold, the silver and gold, it's the new release. Um, like, I don't know, what do you call that? Just addition? Yeah. Uh, if anybody's going to order this, uh, it is very heavy. So, I mean, if you're Floridians, it's going to be super toasty. If you're a northerner, it should be perfect for a chill around the house all winter. Yeah. Then Jen surprised me with this. I was supposed to say that Caribbean beach. Very tropical. I like it. It still smells like the lobby will we'll let people go experience the lobby for themselves. Yeah. Then also got this. The Enchanted Tiki Room hat. They only have it with the flat bill, so. Yeah. Which is, it's whatever. It still looks nice. Some Christmas themed stuff. Jen yeah. had to have the Tis the Season bag. It's actually $20 if you buy it with any of your purchases, so just an FYI. A little bit of technical difficulties, but we're back now. <laughs> Sorry guys, we're getting used to all this. And then this is another thing. We'll let Jen talk on this real quick. I actually ordered this from Pixie Purchases with April. Um, April and her husband, Bobby, they live in Florida. And they do this as a job. They're like personal shoppers, basically. Um, but there was only three of these bags, the lounge fly bags. And uh, I was the last one to get it. So, but yeah. Everything is neon print, and I don't think they're making any more of these, but it's pretty cool. It's basically your standard size of your lounge fly. So there's that. We didn't get that until we got home yesterday, but that's okay because we had our mail held, so. Now we'll have Jen zoom in on the rest of the stuff. I'll kind of point it out as she talks on it all. Are you doing this fork? Yeah. We know it's Fall Run Garden, but... Uh, I'm Mr. Impulse. I saw this at one of the first booths that I stopped at, and I was like, eh, they still have them. Might as well pick it up. Yeah, we've never been to the Flower and Garden Festival, but it's basically just like the Epcot Food and Wine. Which is what we went for. Yeah, we but it's just their spring festival. Then two holiday masks that Jen picked up. I wish we could... Do you want me to open this or not? Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead and open it. That way if people want to see it, they can shop online. And that is... This is the buffalo plaid Mickey, Santa mask, and these are all size large, so. But yeah, it's a cute little, like, um, what do you call it? Like Christmas sweater. And then we have some pins here that I picked out. My Happy Place is with you. And then I am your ghost host. I had to have that one since we're paranormal investigators, as you guys know. And another thing, I'm obsessed with the whole tropical thing, so. Had to go with the tiki room and then even got a little bit of the whip float, I yeah. do believe, but got Mickey hung up a bird and thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, and then there's my phone case. It's just the castle. It says Walt Disney World. And then here is one of the ornaments we got. Um, it was actually all the 2020 merchandise is buy one, get one free. So I actually bought that ornament and then I bought the ears, the 2020 ears. If you're interested in getting those now, I don't know if it's online. But um, they're actually $15 as opposed to $29.99. And because we went there in Tropical Storm, Etta. Ada. 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 <laughs> Got a couple of just standard umbrellas. But yeah, when you open it up um, full size, it actually has all the Disney theme parks listed. So. And then this over here, this is something that we got to do for free and we highly recommend it. I know a few other parks are doing it. It is the Christmas tree stroll. So what you do. It's you at Disney Springs. Go through, look at all the trees, match up whatever tree to whatever sticker were associated with it. And then when you get it all done, you go back and then whoever does it eats, gets a free pin. Yeah, and we're actually going to turn our um, pins into Christmas ornaments. So we're going to hang them on our trees. And over here, this is an ornament that we saw. Was it September or was it July of this year? It was July this year. We actually went over to the Christmas store in Disney Springs and it's... A key and I believe it's like stainless steel but it has little fake diamonds in it 
the castle and all Mickey shaped, but um, I wanted it. It was $20. I wanted it last year, but I figured we'll just wait or I'll buy it online. And they had it this time, so we ended up buying it. Then over here, just some standard Goofy's candy. These are the sugar-free character gummies. We haven't tried these yet, but we couldn't find the actual regular ones, and the regular ones are amazing. Like, they put gummy bears to shame. Yeah, so hopefully these will be just as good. Yeah, hopefully. So Mike and Ike's, and then we have Stitches Extreme Sweet Heat. We don't know if those are, like, really spicy. But yeah, if you guys hear any weird noises, we're actually having really bad weather today. It almost looks like a little bit of snow, rain, tons of wind. Sleet, and we're supposed to have a lot of hail. Like 70 mile per hour winds, so I'm sure it's going to be fun being back home in Ohio. But on to more of this. And then we had sour gummy worms, sorry. Oh, good. More 2020 stuff. Just yep. a magnet that we decided to pick up. Yeah, we got this as well for our fridge. It's got all the four parks on it. And then we also picked up this because it was, like I said, buy one, get one free. It's a little Mickey statue. Um, I think it's just rubber. And because I'm pin obsessed, got another... Caribbean Beach Resort, Mickey chilling in a hammock. Is he drinking a beverage? Yeah, he's got a pineapple. Oh. Yeah. And then just because we said Caribbean Beach 2020, decided to go with the holiday pins with it. Yeah, we like the Caribbean theme with the pirates. Plus it was limited edition, so. And we are obsessed with Flight of Passage, so decided to finally go ahead and get an, an Avatar pin. We're not really big Avatar fan, or fans, but. Well, I am. Well, he is, but the rides, I have to tell you, like, I couldn't really sit there and watch the movie, but the rides, fantastic. And then over here, this is one pin that we found at World Disney. It was the last one I saw on the shelf. I was like, eh, it's pretty sweet. Like, if anyone could really tell, it's, like, stacked. So this is the closest yeah, like and then back and back, yeah. And the classic Walt and Mickey statue, you have to... You know, you have to see that. It's right in front of the castle. It's really cool. But that just really stood out to me. I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, I like how Goofy's <laughs> taking Donald's picture. And, of course, Donald has a Mickey balloon and a Mickey bar. And you can't go wrong. And then some pins. Anyone, whenever you are checking in, if you're celebrating or doing anything, uh, ask for pins. Yep. Sometimes at first visit, a whole bunch of stuff. If cast members see that, that's when you get a little bit of magic and... They do little extra things that really make your trip just a little bit cool Yeah. in different ways. Definitely where the magic happens, but it's pretty cool though. Just make sure you remember to ask because sometimes they forget. Um, they don't always have them out. Like at Pop, we only stay there twice. Our first time we were given them, but the second time we had to ask. So just make sure you ask. Then Jack Skeleton Mask that Jen decided to surprise me with. Yep, and that blue. again is another large, but right now you can't go wrong with having many masks because... We're probably going to be wearing them for a while. Said give me a little bronze age tree. Yeah, I had yeah. to. Got that in Epcot. Epcot's pretty sweet, especially food and wine. Yeah. You can try all sorts of different stuff. Like the craziest thing that I tried was uh, the orange duck from the France Pavilion. That was really good. Mm -hmm. uh, what else did I make you try? Yeah, uh, well, there was the duck, and then I didn't try the lobster. What did yeah, I? There's a lot of different stuff you can try at Epcot. Yeah. We're being watched by our pooch. Which, show, oh, show that piece of merch. Oh, yeah, look at you. He's got his first spirit jersey on. This is the Arendelle Aqua. He loves it. Don't you? Are you going to say something? What? Oh, okay. He's camera shy right now. Oh, well, there he is. <laughs> Good boy. And then these are our bands from the trip. I know it says Riviera. I thought it was cool when I first started looking for him. I saw... Mickey all decked out, and I was like, oh, cool, and I didn't realize it said Riviera. Well, so. we may go to the Riviera in the future. It's a brand new hotel, so it's going to be there for a while, so we have plenty of times to go back. And I know there's a lot of stuff going back and forth about the Magic Bands. Supposedly next year, these are not going to be free. These ones weren't free because they're the they're specialized, so I think they're like 20 bucks yeah, each. Yeah, I think we paid $20 for them, but, you know, usually when you book a stay, they do have free options, but I know in 2021... They are actually changing that. So they are going to start doing, um, I think, Magic Bands through the My Disney Experience app on your phone. But you can pay outright to get Magic Bands. But don't quote me. This is just what was released recently. Now over here we have, this was the holiday mug from the resort. It doesn't say Caribbean Beach Resort on it, though. So I don't know if this is the same mug for all the resorts. 
But the way this works is you pay for the mug and then you get free drinks at any yeah, Disney free, resort. free refills, but it's not on alcoholic beverages. And one more thing that we got over here. This is another thing that Jen surprised me with. Just a stainless steel insulated mug. So that's pretty cool. I love coffee. More Disney Spring stuff. This is from Basin. It's their soap um, shop that they have. You can actually go to the website. It's basin.com. Basin. But the soaps are pretty cool. They got all these cool little designs and different scents and everything. Yeah. I think they just like do like molds and cut them out and then they just remold them again. But it's pretty neat. And then I got some bath bombs, mini ones, just because I wanted to try the yeah. different scents. They call them marbles instead of bombs. Oh. The little guys. Bomb marbles. But yeah. Then, last little thing for Derek's. This is something that we found at Marketplace Co-op at Disney Springs. Yep. Just some little, little Cute socks. little foot paw socks. So once it gets colder up here in Ohio, if it gets a little cold in the house, we'll go ahead and put those on and, and see then, how he likes it. This is the last thing that we have. But it's a little uh, toy poodle mini uh, calendar for 2021 because our dog is a mini poodle. And apricot. Yeah, true. Well, yeah, that was our Disney haul. Oh, and I do have, um, I do have one shirt and one um, pair of like legging capris that are Disney and they're in the wash so I'm going to clip those in later so but we just wanted to give you a little overview about what we bought and how much money we overspent just, just a little bit. but Disney's worth it and we're going to use everything we're going to eat the candy um, and we, don't know, we don't know when we're going to go back so yeah. there's that too but yeah so I'll add the other clip in later alright so we're back these are the cups that we also got. Um, this is our part two to the uh, Disney haul. It's wine bar drawers. They're corksicle glasses. They actually keep everything cold. I think it says for nine hours. And then three hours it keeps everything hot. But that's at wine bar George. They were a little more expensive, but they're actually kind of worth it. Because if you take these glasses back um, each time you go, you get 10% off, I think it was, on a frozen drink. Yep. And not only did you get the cup, but you also got the Froscato. Yeah. <laughs> from buying the well, original right. cup. Yeah, you get it, you order the drink in it, but, you know, you get the glass as a souvenir and then you get to take it back. And then for Jen, she also got... And don't mind the boxes behind Jeff. These are all of our Christmas stuff. That's the Mickey leggings that I got. We just washed them. These are what, three quarter length? What yeah. Well, they're Capri's. And then this is the shirt that she got. Yeah. It says choose magic Walt Disney World. But it's a set, so it's pretty cool. It's really soft. It's light material too, but definitely worth it. But that is the rest of all the stuff. We are now currently working on Christmas. Our Christmas we'll tree. Little, you know. We put it up, but we uh it's just a fake artificial tree, but we put the lights on it and then we put our two ornaments on it that we bought and we're gonna decorate it later i don't know if that's what you guys do but yeah well, it's a little early but maybe that's what we'll do tomorrow as part of our vlog for tomorrow is just finish the tree yeah and then the rest of the christmas decorating yeah just uh just a uh let's get the christmas season ready you know going to disney seeing christmas decorations and everything kind of got in the holiday spirit but hopefully 2021 will get here sooner than we think. But everyone, thank you for tuning in. This is the Tales of Polish Royalty. Thanks, guys.